Elastic Behavior of Solids In this module, you will learn about the elastic behavior of solids. You may have noticed that when you stretch a spring, its shape and size changes. And when you release its ends, it gets back to its original shape and size. The same thing happens when you stretch a rubber band and then release it. The property of a solid body by virtue of which it tends to regain its original shape and size when the applied force is removed is known as elasticity. The materials possessing this property are known as elastic materials. As you can see, when force is applied on an elastic solid, it gets deformed. This deformation caused in the elastic materials is known as elastic deformation. Do you know why this deformation is caused? The deformation is caused in these materials due to their atomic structure. Let's see the atomic structure of an elastic solid body. Each atom or molecule of such a solid is surrounded by the neighboring atoms or molecules. These atoms and molecules are bonded together by interatomic or intermolecular forces and stay in a stable equilibrium position. This arrangement is similar to the model of a spring ball system as shown here. Here, the balls represent the atoms and the spring represents the interatomic or intermolecular forces. Now try to displace a ball in the spring ball model and see what happens. You will notice that once the external force is removed, the ball comes back to its original position. This happens because when the applied force is removed, the spring system, that is, the interatomic forces tend to drive the ball, that is, the atoms come back to their original positions. But not all solid bodies are elastic. Some solids get permanently deformed after force is applied on them. For example, when you apply force on a lump of cement or clay, its shape changes and it never regains its original shape even after removing the applied force. The property of not regaining the original shape and size and getting deformed permanently is known as plasticity and the materials possessing this property are known as plastics. In plastics, the body cannot regain its original shape because the interatomic forces are not strong enough to drive the atoms back to their position. Let's recap. The property of a solid body by virtue of which it tends to regain its original shape and size when the applied force is removed is known as elasticity. The materials possessing elasticity are known as elastic materials. When force is applied on an elastic solid, it gets deformed. This deformation caused in these materials is known as elastic deformation. The property of not regaining the original shape and size and deforming permanently is known as plasticity and the materials possessing this property are known as plastics. In plastics, the body cannot regain its original shape because the interatomic forces are not strong enough to drive the atoms back to their position.